Hello and welcome to the tutorial for Coyote Time and Bunny Time. Now, Coyote Time is a common term in game development. I think that's named after Wally Coyote. He runs off the ledge of a cliff and he hangs in the air. So if I turn, first of all, let me just show the capsule in the game so you can see where the character really is and you don't rely on the animation. So I'm going to disable Coyote Time. Here we go, play. Run near the edge and we just put the slow mo 0.2, so we're running at 20% game speed. So, what's going to happen is right as this capsule fills, oops, I did it a bit early there, that not actually left the ledge here, but let's do that one more time. Now it's left the ledge, I hit jump, and of course it doesn't jump because it's already falling. But if I set Coyote time back to the default, we have 0 0.1 seconds to actually um, use it. We go slow mo point two, And watch what happens just as we leave the ledge and I hit jump. It still jumps. Now why would you want this? Think of a game like Rayman Legends. Rayman moves really darn fast and it's a platform where you're walking off ledges and hitting jump at just the right moment all the time. And you probably feel like you are nailing those jumps. But in fact, you're actually failing almost all of them at the rate that speed at the speed the game plays. But it's got a lot of coyote time. Our move it comes with it enabled by default because it makes your game feel really responsive. You can just set it to zero and disable it if you don't want it. So bunny time is the term that I've coined just after Coyote time. It made sense. So here's what this does. Let's say you're jumping or you're falling. And as soon as you hit the ground, you want to jump again. So in slow-mo, I'm going to hit jump at the last moment. Oh, I missed it. I was one or two frames too soon because there's no bunny time. Now we add a little bit of bunny time. We do the same thing, slow-mo, point two. And just before it hits the ground, I'm going to press jump right now. And it still jumps. Because we've given ourselves a buffer where I can actually just hold the input for a few frames and then apply the input simple as that and it makes your game fluid and responsive the faster your game is the more these things shine 